Hello, and welcome to Clinicaid. In this tutorial video, we'll be showing you how to create invoices in your Clinicaid account. We'll first go over how to create a simple invoice using a patient that is already saved into your Clinicaid account. Then we'll show you how to create a new patient as you're creating your claim. Finally, we'll show you how out-of-province patients will affect your claims and go over additional information and changes you'll see in Clinicaid. Once you've set up your account for billing, you're ready to create and submit claims to your provincial government body for assessment. We'll be creating three example invoices, each using a different province account. The steps are similar regardless of whether you are billing in Ontario, BC, or Alberta, so all of our users should have no trouble following along. If you haven't yet set up your account for billing in your province, please see our province-specific tutorial videos that show you how to get started. You can find these in our customer support portal, as well as linked in this video. Let's get started. Once you're logged into your Clinicaid account, you'll reach your dashboard. From here, click on the Create Invoice section in the left-hand menu. Your cursor will automatically populate in the Patient field on the right of the screen. I'll be clicking through the various fields, but you can quickly tab through the screen for speedy billing. Here we are logged into our Ontario demo account. We'll be creating a simple invoice using a patient demographic that we already have saved in Clinicaid. You can begin typing the name or the personal health number of a patient. Patient demographic files matching this information will appear in a dropdown, allowing you to quickly search for and select the patient you need. After selecting the patient, you can add a referral provider if necessary. This field acts as a search, so you can begin typing the referral physician's name or practitioner ID. If they don't appear in the search results, you can simply type in the practitioner ID if you know it, or you can add the provider as a custom referral provider by going to the admin section in the left-hand side menu, opening the referral providers tab, and adding a new referral provider. The providers that appear in the search are from official provincial databases that we update periodically. Alberta and BC have fairly up-to-date lists, but unfortunately Ontario's list is less complete and may require you to manually input or add providers more often. Next, select the appropriate provider. Once selected, the provider's information will show in this section. If you're the main provider in the account, you can set yourself as the default provider to have this field pre-filled with your information. You can do so by clicking on the edit icon next to the default provider field, selecting the right provider, and saving the setting. Future invoices will now be completed with this information automatically. Then you can begin entering service codes. All claims submitted will require a service code and most service codes also require a diagnostic code. Service codes may have fee modifiers that can be applied depending on the province. The service codes and diagnostic codes fields are searchable by code or by description, so typing numbers or letters in these fields will automatically display search results. Codes can be selected from the search or typed in. Hovering over descriptions will display the full description text. For both the service codes and the diagnostic codes field, you'll see an empty favorites section appear. You can create favorites lists of codes that you use most often for easier access. These lists can be saved by going to the Preferences section in the left-hand menu, selecting Service or Diagnostic Codes, and creating a new group of codes to save. Please watch our other tutorial video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up these lists. Next, add a diagnostic code. Select the correct service date, and then click the Add button to add the line item to your invoice. You can add as many line items as you'd like for a particular patient. Once you've completed all of the necessary information on your claim, you are ready to send it in. You can submit the claim immediately by clicking the green Send Now button at the bottom of the invoice, but we recommend saving the claim by clicking the blue Save button instead. Saving your claims will allow you to do one final review before sending them off. You can also use quick keys instead of clicking the buttons. By hitting Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard, you'll save the invoice, or you can hit Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to send the invoice. Keep in mind though that once you've sent an invoice in, you won't be able to make changes to it until it's been assessed and sent back. Saving your invoices and doing a final review can help you catch small errors. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until your next remittance period for the claim to be assessed and paid out. Invoices that you save will be in your Manage Invoices section. Please see our other video tutorial to find out how this section of your Clinicaid account works. 
Now we'll show you how to create a new patient demographic as you're creating your claim. For this example, we're logged into our BC demo account. We'll start with the patient field once again, but this time our search won't show us the right patient as we need to add this patient into our Clinicate account. There are two ways to add a new patient as you're creating a claim for them. The first is to create a new patient demographic record directly from this screen by clicking the plus icon. This will open up the quick patient form, which you can fill in with the patient's information. Alternatively, you can use the quick claim feature to create a new patient without having to complete the quick patient form. This can be done by simply typing in the name of a new patient, tabbing or clicking away from the patient field, and completing the additional patient information fields that pop up. This is usually just the PHN and birthday, if desired. Adding a new patient using this feature will save you from having to open the quick patient form window, and you can just carry on completing the rest of the bill as you would otherwise. Please keep in mind that you can use the quick claim feature to add new patients in any Clinicate account. In Ontario and Alberta, you don't even need to complete a patient's name. You'll just need their PHN to claim for them. In BC, the patient name is required. Either option you choose will create a patient record in your Clinicate account that you can go back to view or edit in your Manage Patients section. Once you've entered the patient's information, you can complete a service code, any applicable fee modifiers, the diagnostic code, and the service date. You can add as many line items per claim as you'd like, as they will be assessed by your provincial governmental body based on the service date. Again, you can use the quick keys to save or send in your claim. If you save it, you can go to the Manage Invoices section to review and submit this and all your other unsubmitted claims. Finally, let's take a look at a more complex invoice that includes some more advanced Clinicaid features. For this example, we're using a Clinicaid Alberta demo account. We'll start by creating another invoice, but this time it's for an out-of-province patient that's already been saved into our patient demographics. Out-of-province patients will require additional information included with claims associated with them. In Alberta and BC, this is usually, at the very least, the patient's address and the province they are covered under. In Ontario, an address is not required, but the insurer type must be set to reciprocal medical billing and must include the province the patient is covered under. Your claims should auto-set to RMB claims once you enter a non-Ontario PHN and healthcare type in the patient's demographic record. You can complete this additional information when creating the patient's record. These changes will trigger Clinicaid to adjust and pre-field the information in the claim where appropriate when you select an out-of-province patient. If you've set a default provider, the provider section should already be completed. For this bill, we're going to use a secondary skill code for this provider, which will require us to make some changes to the default provider information. These changes can easily be made in the advanced tab, which we'll take a closer look at shortly. Once you've selected your patient and provider, begin entering the service code. In Alberta, you'll need to complete calls and encounters if applicable. Fee modifiers that are displayed once a service code is selected are the only modifiers that are applicable to the service code. You can add up to three appropriate modifiers. In BC and Ontario, you can also add fee modifiers to service codes as needed. Add a diagnostic code and select the correct service date. For this example, we're going to add another couple of service codes that will affect our fee modifiers. We'll also be using our multi-date feature to add multiple service dates at the same time. One other handy feature to mention here is the multi-date selector for claims that have the same codes performed on multiple service dates. When you have the calendar open, you'll see a multi option. Clicking that will allow you to select multiple dates on the calendar. If you're wanting to save time, you can tab over the various fields and, once you've reached the calendar, you can hit and hold the control key to select multiple dates. Once you let go of the control key, the date selected will be saved and you can hit enter to add the line items to your claim. 
you should see multiple line items appear at the bottom of your screen that show the service code, the diagnostic code, and the multiple service dates that you have selected. Because our provider is using their secondary skill code, we'll also need to change the default provider information, which can be done on the Advanced tab. This is where supplemental text for claims will go, and other special indicators can be set for the claim, such as a newborn indicator. This is also where specific claim information can be changed. For example, in Alberta, you can specify a different specialty, facility number, or functional center here if it differs from your default provider information. This is where we'll change our provider information to match this particular claim. The Advanced tab works the same in BC and Ontario, and will have options based on each province's individual billing protocols. For example, in BC, you can indicate WCB and ICBC claims using the Advanced tab, which will open up appropriate fields for those types of claims. You can also change provider information if necessary. In Ontario, you can change provider and visit locations per claim, as well as insurance information. For out-of-province patients, you should see automatic changes made to the bill based on the patient demographic information. Healthcare types should match the patient's coverage province, and additional information will be auto-set based on the patient's demographic record to identify the claim as an out-of-province patient claim. Once you've completed all of the necessary information on your claim, you're ready to send it in. You can submit the claim immediately by clicking the green Send Now button at the bottom of the invoice, but we recommend saving the claim by clicking the blue Save button instead. Saving your claims will allow you to do one final review before sending them off in a larger batch. You can also use the quick keys, Control plus Enter to save, or Control plus Shift plus Enter to send, from this screen. Again, keep in mind that once you've submitted an invoice, you won't be able to make edits to it until it's been assessed and sent back with your next remittance file. To review and send a batch of invoices at once, go to your Manage Invoices section. You can view and submit invoices from here. Check out our Manage Invoices tutorial video for a thorough look at this section of your ClinicAid account. If you have any questions or need some additional help, please feel free to contact us or look through more resources on our customer support portal. Thanks for watching and happy billing!